First, Wait. we start with Patrick Mahomes and the electric Chiefs offense. According to Fox Bet, the Chiefs are one and a half point favorites. And yesterday, Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy spoke about the offense with Mahomes, saying, quote, every play is designed to score a touchdown. He never says he doesn't like a play. So, Shannon, do you like that he said this? I do. But, Skip, obviously that's not true. Uh, you know, on four, you know, fourth and one of the 50-yard line, Skip, and you want quarterback sneak, obviously you're not trying to score a touchdown. But his mentality is, that's their thought process, is that this is why they had so many 40-yard pl pass plays. This is why they had so many 40-plus-yard touchdowns. Is because their mentality is, Skip, it's hard to win ball games and methodically go 13, 14 plays down the field. Something bad can happen. They have the ability to go quick strike. And this is what happened when they played Houston. Remember, Skip, the first three drives, they get nothing. And then the next seven drives, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. This is what they can do. And since that Houston game, Skip, check this out. Since the Houston game, they went 0-3. Then they go seven straight touchdowns. And they went three drives <clears throat> against uh, on 12 of their next 17 drives with Houston and the Titans, 12 of 17 touchdowns. That's what they have the ability to do. And because my homeboy, give me the real deal. Now, I've been trying to tell you this. I, I say, Skip, I got this young man I want you to get on early. It's kind of like Google stock. I tried to get you in early at the ground floor, Jenny, oh. so we can rise on this thing together. Sure. He ain't want no part of my homeboy, Dak. And that's my quarterback, and Dak I trust. Uh, some of us are true to their teams. <laughs> some of us change teams by the week. No, hold on, hold on, Skip. I got a team that's in the Super Bowl, remember? Mm -hmm. You remember I picked Casey and my homeboy? You did, you did. So you know, I'm going to feel good about that, yeah. We cannot take it. What they have is a quarterback skip that can make every throw from the pocket. He can also make every throw outside of the pocket. He can throw for depth. He can throw for accuracy. Now, you pair that with, they have the fastest group of receivers in all of football. Two of their receivers are former return guys, and they still, and McCole Harmon returned kicks and punts. Tyreek Hill, that's how he cut his teeth in the NFL until he got up to speed at the receiver position. So they got guys that operate really, really well in space, and they can run. So now you diagram plays, Skip, to try to get home runs. And sometimes I think that works against them because that's all they're thinking about. They don't really care about the 10-yard route. They want the 45-yard home run. And this is also why they drop so many passes, because they're always thinking big play. They think, I, if you notice Travis Kelsey and Tyreek, they're dropping plays their heads are here because they're, always look, they're already looking for that defender to make that guy miss so they can get gone. So I, I, I like the philosophy. I like the mentality because they have a guy in, in Eric Bieniemy. Is he coach? Is he, did he get his head coaching job? Mm. Oh, we, we talk about that later, Skip. I like, I like that he said it. He says, this guy doesn't think there's a play that he can't make work. And that's a great mentality to have when you have a guy like that. Skip, I've been on teams like, man, if, if a defense can hold them here and, you know, we get a break here there, we can win a game. But when seven, John Elway was under center, man, we, ain't gonna get, we, got, we got this today. And when 15 is under center, that's how they're thinking. So that's a great mentality to have. Yeah, you saw that. He's special. You remember what he did to your guy up in New England, right? Okay. He did to my guy. Yeah, your guy. He oh. did it to him. Oh. That's why they got to come. That's why they had to go on the road. That's why they would have had to go on the road. I just remember what happened just a no, year no, no, ago no, 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 when, no, no, when no. my guy ha actually had some receivers who could separate, and my guy beat him twice last year. I don't know how. He was the MVP, but he lost twice to Tom Brady. Defense. His defense let him down. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Andy Reid defense. Oh, so it is now my turn. Mm -hmm. It and is. And if you don't mind, I'm going to remind our viewers that I started covering pro football with Don Shula's Miami <laughs> Dolphins in the 1970s. <laughs> then... I spent a lot of time around Coach Walsh, the great Bill Walsh. And then I spent a whole lot of time around the great Tom Landry, who had some offensive genius about him. And then I spent a whole lot of time around the great Jimmy Johnson, now being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame mm -hmm. soon. And I got to tell you, not one time in all those years, all those many years, did I ever hear anybody say, Every play that we have is designed to score a touchdown. No, nobody ever said that one time. 
Not even the great Bill Walsh, who invented an offense. It's supposed to be understood. Yeah, it's just understood. Well, obviously, <laughs> the goal of every play, <laughs> un un unsaid, unwritten, <laughs> yes. the goal, the hope of every play, <laughs> even a short yardage play is, hey, if we break it, we break it. That would be great because obviously the goal is to take the ball across the goal line that's, into the end zone to score six points. Yes. Right? Yes. But you don't say the yes, goal. You, you just can't say it because it, it could be the worst words that ever came out of your mouth because your opponents don't want to hear you say that every play we have is designed to score a touchdown. That is the single most arrogant thing I've ever heard come out of any coach's mouth, especially before a Super Bowl. And I like Eric Bieniemy, mm -hmm. And I do wish he were a head coach in this league, and maybe someday soon he will be. Mm -hmm. But I believe that he is just part and parcel of the attitude of the Kansas City Chiefs that is about to spill right over the edge into the Super Bowl because they have come to be awfully full of themselves. Shouldn't they be? They have come to be to the point of smelling themselves <laughs> to a fault. And it is a dangerous game they are playing right now, going into a Super Bowl against an extremely physical football team mm -hmm. with an extremely physical defense, especially a defensive line that features five first round picks who's, who are going to be coming after the guy who thinks that every play just might be a touchdown. That's how he approaches yeah. every play. Arm up, one is by air and the other by land. He can and, run it. By the way, just a little stat that I just happened across. Hey, you happened to do I, I did. I just fell across this because we were talking about Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to talk about him in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I, I just noticed that yards after catch, the track team that is Mahomes receiving core, yeah. They have the third most yards after catch. This is just in the regular season. Right. This this season, 2019 mm -hmm. season. Guess who's fourth in yards after catch? No. Garoppolo's receivers yeah. are fourth after catch because Hey, Kittle, he can catch it and run with it. Debo. And Debo can really <laughs> catch it and really, really Daniel. punish people with yeah. it, right? Yeah. And we can keep going down the list. But but the point is, they they got a little bit of dangerous offense going they too. But they don't say, Kyle Shannon's never said, every play I call is designed to score a touchdown. Well, the truth is, some plays on third and eight are designed to get to the sticks. You right. know, you're yeah. running, you know, Shannon, you got to run this route exactly nine yards to this point right. because the ball is going to be at that moment right, right there. Right. Okay, that's how you practice the right. play. A play that's called to get a first down where you just run, everybody run to the first down market is not designed okay. to score touchdowns. It's not designed. If it did, <laughs> great, right? Yeah. Like, sure. like nobody doesn't want to score a touchdown. Well, that wasn't the design of it. You break a tackle or the guy misses a tackle, that's another th subject. Okay, so to me, the Chiefs are getting on my nerves. No! And, and I got to tell you, I, I got to tell you, seriously, I want to like Patrick Mahomes because I think he's basically a good kid, and he never says anything that's even remotely offensive or arrogant. Everything he says in any post-game or pre-game yeah. interview, it's always, it's it's great. I, mm -hmm. I I can't remember any of it, which is how good it is, you know, okay. how, how correct, it, right. politically correct mm -hmm. it is. But his body language is getting more and more abrasive to me because... You just, I, of course, you make me not want to like him because you just, all I hear is my homeboy, right? And, yeah, and after a while, I just get sick to death of it because I have to sit over here and take it every day. And I want to like him. You're making it hard to like him. But he's making it harder to like what him because, okay, like running to the sideline after the touchdown throw at Chicago was oh. what week, uh, what was it, just a couple of weeks, it was a couple of games back, yeah. but you know, against it was, Chicago, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find the date of that, but it was obviously against Mitchell Trubisky. What are you doing? What? He's counting on his fingers because he was the 10th overall pick and Mitchell Trubisky obviously yeah. was the second yeah. overall. Yeah. We all know he's way better than Mitchell Trubisky. You don't have to show us. Yeah, we got to. You know, you, you, Ryan or, or basically that's telling us. You, you can show us with your touchdown passes mm -hmm. and your performance and your MVP. He's we like, get that. Ten, he's, he's counting. I know, hold on, I know you're not talking. I know you're not talking. And your guy wrote down every quarterback name that went in front of him. Yeah. And he still plays with that chip on his shoulder. Mm. But you okay with that? Which quarterback? You know what quarterback. I don't know. I, which one, what? Brady? Yes. Are we talking about Brady or Dak? I don't oh, know. Brady. Okay, but he doesn't. 
rub it, our noses yeah, in it. I don't that. ever hear him talk about it. You Come on, done stop that? it. I've never seen Tom Brady. Because oh. you wouldn't have enough fingers. Like, yeah. you're, did, right? Did, you just have you, you don't remember? Well, 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 go back and check it out. He knows every quarterback by name that was taken in front of him in 2000. From Spurgeon win, yes. D He's does he wear it on his sleeve? Yes. Does he wear it on his hands? Okay. <laughs> no. And then before the year started, I told you this was dangerous, but I'm seeing all these pieces ESPN did about the no-look passes, yes. you know, comparing Patrick oh, yeah. Mahomes to Brett Favre with the no-looks, the sidearm, the underarm, the behind-the-back passes. We haven't gotten there yet, but he is like the embodiment of the Harlem Globetrotters at quarterback in today's <laughs> NFL. Well, you My got guy who's about to play in the Super Bowl, and they're actually trying to rub the 49ers' <laughs> noses in it. Excuse and me. you can't. How do you rub it in nose in it? Okay. We do what we do. So, so let's, let me get this straight. How many Super Bowls has Patrick Mahomes won? Help me out. I, maybe I've lost track. Let me, let me, wait, let me see if I have enough fingers to count. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, z zero. I got a big zero. Not yet. I got, Not yet. A, I got two. I got a thumb and a finger and I can do a zero. His only third right? year. His zero. only third year. Uh, okay, so he has yet to even win, but it feels like they've already won. No. They're, they're talking like they've already won. You're talking like no. they've already won. No, no, I did not. Yes, you are.